Acting Commissioner no more just a few hours ago, Laura Cavanaugh sworn in as the FDNY's official commissioner. As CBS News John Diaz explains, the new title is a huge milestone for the department. So help me God. Congratulations, Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh. You're watching history. The moment's 40 year old Laura Cavanaugh became the first female commissioner in the FDNY's 157 year history. To say it is the honor of a lifetime is an understatement. With a proud crowd of female city leaders behind her and the NYPD's current and first female police commissioner to her side, Kavanaugh made a heartfelt message. I will succeed only if every person in my department and in our city sees my place at the table as also their own. This moment, me being first, only matters if I am not the last. Kavanaugh joined the FDNY in 2014 and was named to first deputy commissioner four years later. She had been serving as interim commissioner since Daniel Nigro retired in February. She's done a wonderful job and she will continue to do a wonderful job because she loves the department. This is not my father's department. This is a modern department. Over the last eight months, she dealt with line of duty deaths and other tribulations. The mayor saying she rose to the occasion. I had someone in place and the house wasn't burning. It's a turning point for a predominantly male run industry. According to city data, currently more than three quarters of firefighters are white men and less than 1% are women. The men of this city, you should be proud. You're sending a message to every agency and administration across the globe. When you say as men in this agency, that you will follow the leadership no matter what the gender may be. Kavanaugh has and plans to continue to take interest in diversifying the nation's largest municipal fire department by hiring more women. Change provides opportunity. Change, in fact, is the only constant in life. And if we embrace it, change is a gift. And Kavanaugh now officially oversees roughly 17,000 FDNY employees and an annual budget of $2 billion. From Lower Manhattan, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.